Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi, also known as Wedding Fashion Expert. This week, we are talking about the top seven wedding dress fashion trends of 2023. Before we dive into this week's topic, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, drop a comment below, let me know if there's a particular video, topic that you'd like me to create for you. I am here for you, guiding you along the way leading up to your special day. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I am so honored that you have found me. I am, of course, a wedding fashion expert, stylist, buyer, wear so many different hats at Lavella Bridal located in Los Angeles, California. California. For daily content, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Lavella Bridal, at Lavella Plus, and at Wedding Fashion Expert. And don't forget to also hit the follow button on TikTok at Lavella Bridal and at Wedding Fashion Expert. This week's topic was inspired by the fact that I am currently preparing to go to New York Bridal Fashion Week in April. I'm so excited getting all my outfits together, so definitely follow along on Instagram to follow my journey through Fashion Week and all the exciting things that are to come ahead. I thought this would be a great time to talk about fashion trends, primarily because I have had so many brides in store ask me lately, what are the newest designs? What's trending right now? And while I do advise all my brides to not pay attention to what's necessarily trending or the newest dress in store because that's going to limit you. It's nice to know what's trending. It's nice to know what's new, but I don't want you to only try on the trending things or the new things. I want you to try those things on, but I also want you to consider things that maybe are a few seasons old. I personally don't think there's anything wrong with going with a dress for you that you love that is several seasons old. I actually don't care what season things are from so long as you love the dress you feel beautiful and confident in it. That's all that truly matters. However, I do think it is fun to chat about some of the trends that we're seeing in bridal and what brides are doing that's really, really fun that you may get some inspiration today to incorporate into your wedding look and at the very least even just try it on and see what you think of some of these trending things. Without further ado, trend number one, detachable details. It has become so popular for brides to want a dynamic, ever-changing look for their wedding. Let it be an off-the-shoulder or a strap that is detachable to give you the flexibility of one, comfort, and two, just overall look. So I have a lot of brides who are going with an off-the-shoulder for ceremony, just thinking that it's really soft and romantic, and perhaps for the reception, opting to go with either that off-the-shoulder into a strap or adding a second strap to really secure and hold up the dress to lead her in through the evening. We also see lots of detachable trains and overskirts. This is another beautiful way that takes you into ceremony and reception with a really dynamic look with this detachable detail. We also have brides that opt for a cape, some sort of coverage or something dynamic to really change up the look. Along with the capes, we also see sleeves. I know I mentioned the off the shoulder strap and spaghetti strap, but of course also the long sleeve transition as well. So all these detachable details, we have been seeing them trending for several years now. It's still going strong and it just really is a beautiful way for you to customize and personalize your look on wedding day and have different versions of the dress. It's entertaining for your guests and it's also fun if you can't decide if you want to go with a long sleeve dress or not. You get to do both and if you want a ball gown or if you want a fitted dress, with the overskirt, that gives you the option of having the best of both worlds. So if you are a bride that you find yourself kind of in between two different looks, the beautiful thing with these detachable details is that you get to do both and incorporate both options into your wedding look. Trend number two, we have been seeing increasingly bolder colors being worn on wedding day. Traditionally, we are used to brides wearing white or ivory. We have slowly incorporated over the years blush, champagne undertones, various nude undertones. We've also seen lavenders and lilacs. What's really interesting is that we are seeing more and more black wedding dresses. So bold colors are definitely in, and I believe they're here to stay for some time. I think that it's something that's definitely personal. I will touch on the fact that 
a gown with a little bit of color, especially like an underneath color, an undertone of a champagne, a blush, or a nude with, let's say, ivory detail on top. It does make for phenomenal photography. So I would not shy away from those colors just because it's not the traditional white or ivory dress. I would tell you to take a photo of the dress that you're trying on and also look at the color of how it looks in person. You will notice when there's a little bit of color in person, it translates much lighter in photos. And if you're doing a whiter color, a white or an ivory, you'll notice that it's very washed out in photos. So there are great benefits to having some color into the dress, even if you don't wanna go for a really bold color, totally understandable, but we are definitely seeing more and more colors in wedding dresses. I will say that most of the dresses in store at Lavella do have some sort of an undertone, a nude. We don't have any white dresses. Everything is considered what we call ivory. So don't get swayed by what the designer calls the fabric. I have done videos on this in the past, just really walking you through the different colors in wedding dresses. I will link that for you below so that you can dive a little bit deeper on why certain colors are done a certain way and why we actually don't have anything that we consider white. Trend number three is high, low hemlines. So showing off your feet, having a dress that's really easy to move around in, not necessarily having a big train. Some dresses do have a high in the front and a low in the back into a really big dramatic train. And others are just a super small, simple sweep little train that's really good for perhaps a destination wedding or a wedding that is on the beach so you can move freely. This is a great look for somebody who wants to be super functional and moving on wedding day. Maybe you're obsessed with shoes and you want a shoe moment to pop. I have so many brides that love their sneakers or their high heels. Maybe you're just a shoe fanatic and you want to show off your shoes or maybe you just want to be really comfortable and have it be easy to move and functional on wedding day. This is a great option for a bride who wants to be able to move freely and add a little bit of a fashion twist to the non-traditional typical bridal gown that we're used to seeing, which is full length and a train. Trend number four, minimalist styles. This is a trend that has been growing every single year. We also see minimalist styles, so this would include clean dresses, really minimalist, sleek looks, not a lot of embellishment at all, just super, super simple. We see them in really simple silhouettes such as sheaths or even big ball gowns. This is a really cool way to have a very minimal embellishment, keep it super, super clean, and maybe go in with some really bold accessories, statement pieces, or just be an overall minimalistic bride and just keep it super, super simple. We also see this minimalistic fashion look combining with the trend of bold colors. At Lavella Bridal, we do have some minimalistic dresses that are in a purple lilac color or a black color, and it really creates a beautiful merging of fashionable and also traditional, meeting everything with the modern, a little bit of the old. It's really, really neat and a beautiful style. And this is a trend that is really, really growing amongst so many different brides and different cultural communities as well, which is really fun to see. Trend number five has a bit of controversy attached to it. We do get a lot of feedback from followers on this one. This trend is sheer fabrics. This has so, been so controversial online for a number of reasons, as you can imagine. People say some of our dresses that are a little bit more sheer should be saved for wedding night, should be for not, definitely not the wedding, is what people think. But this is something that our brides love. They loved an exposed boning, very light, airy materials. It's a little bit more comfortable to wear and it's really sexy. So I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think that if a bride feels beautiful and confident in something a little bit more sheer and sexy, by all means, you should wear what you feel the most beautiful and confident in. But definitely, this is the one trend that has the most controversy involved with it. Trend number six is off the shoulder wedding dresses. So I touched on in the beginning detachable components. We are seeing more and more dresses that are built with and off the shoulder. It is not removable. It stays as is. This is something that of course has always been in bridal, but it is making a comeback for various different reasons. One of the most things brides are self-conscious about are their 
arms. That is one of the number one things I hear. I have a whole video on it. I will link that for you below as well as a resource for you. But we are seeing designers making those dresses with new little details. Maybe it's a bow being added or it has some jewels hanging down the sleeve. So designers are really bringing in this off the shoulder design detail that has been in fashion for so many years and is a classic, but they're adding little funky twists to it to really make it new and fresh and super trendy, yet still remaining classic. So this is something that's really trending. I will tell you in terms of an off the shoulder that is not detachable that we spoke about in the beginning, you are limited in arm movement and mobility. So that's something that you wanna keep in mind when you are trying on dresses. Maybe you have a reception dress that you change into that's more comfortable, or you're perfectly fine with being restricted and really just being able to lift your arms right about to here. And that is kind of where you have to kind of keep it. It does make it a little difficult to hug people. So I want you to keep that in mind while you're trying dresses on. Now, I'd also want you to take note that if a dress is big on you, you're going to have a little bit more mobility than it would if it was smaller in size for you. So keep that in mind as well. You might be trying on the sample thinking, oh, I have lots of room to move, but you're clamped in four or five inches in the back. So just keep that in mind so that you know that you're buying something that is really comfortable and easy for you to move around in, that you're good with being in all night. To wear it for a few hours for ceremony, no big deal. It really becomes an issue during the reception when you wanna hug guests, dance, and just be free and have fun. That's when I see it to be the most problematic, but I do have brides that have no problem with it and they will stay in and off the shoulder all night long. We do have some designers that have been super creative with the off the shoulder mobility component where they've added elastic in the back. So when you do move, it actually gives you a higher range of motion. So that's a really nice component. So if there are dresses that you do want to try on with an off the shoulder and mobility is really important to you, perhaps requesting something that has an elastic that has give to it, your stylist, is the expert and they are able to pull a dress that would have that component and that smart mobility so to speak that our designers are getting really creative with trend number seven that we are seeing so much more of and our brides are requesting constantly is customized embroidery so we saw Haley Bieber who did till death do us part on the bottom of her veil I have had brides who wanted to put their fiance's initials on their sleeve and our seamstresses were able to do that with stitching or beading their so many options. This idea of a customized embroidery element hidden into the look or maybe even exposed into the veil, done on the train, on the sleeve, or perhaps on the dress. It's a subtle detail for your photos, for you, your fiance to know. It's just something that is growing and just really personalizing your look, making it sentimental, and putting your little signature on it. I hope that you found this video helpful and enjoyed learning about the top seven trends in wedding dress fashion in 2023. I do think that these trends are going to continue to evolve and grow for the years to come. And be sure to follow along on Wedding Fashion Expert during bridal fashion. Fashion Week in April to see all the brand new dresses that are coming out. I do want you to keep in mind the new dresses that are coming out are not available in stores, typically to order five to six months after you're seeing them on the runways. And this is because just like your dress as a bride takes six to eight months to order, that's how long it takes for stores to get their stock pieces in. So we see the dresses at Fashion Week. Everyone's posting about it. Everybody wants to see them. But if your wedding is in the next nine to 10 months, realistically, you don't want to wait for those new dresses. So what I mentioned in the beginning about the latest and the greatest is not always ideal based on your wedding date or based on your needs. If there are dresses that you want to see, the best way to see these latest collections that hit the runway is going to be during trunk shows. You can call the stores ahead of time that you're interested in with certain designers and see if the dresses that you would like to try on will be attending the trunk show. And that is how you can pre-order a dress from a brand new collection. I will also link below what a trunk show is and what those details entail so that you can learn a little bit more about that. If you have any questions, please be sure to drop a comment. I will definitely answer it. I hope that you found this video helpful. For more videos and tips like these, please be sure to tune in every Wednesday, 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I will see you in next week's video.